Hello, Plymouth Rescue Controller. Yes, which flying club? The right type of aircraft. Cessna. Flight level, 100. Airspeed, 150. Last known position at 1450. 5110 North, 0120 East. How many people on board, please? Just the pilot. Right, and life saving equipment. One dinghy. Sabi beacon. Good, yes, that will help. Thank you. Can I have your phone number, please? We'll keep you informed. Yes, indeed. Uh, will you get a Met report for me? Uh, Kent Coast to Dutch Coast, all the sea area, please. Okay. Flash call to the Met office, please. Hello, St. Morgan. Controller here. Scramble the search and rescue Shackleton. The Cessna aircraft. Golf Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta. Missing between Amsterdam and Biggin. Search from 5110 North, 0230 East. To Manston. Yes. A Sabi search. Flight level 50. Thank you. New Haven. Uh, put out, please, to sea area off Ramsgate to 10 nautical miles, assisting a search for a missing aircraft. Frequency 121.5. Right. Thank you. WT Kevin, uh, could you open listening watch, please? Search and rescue frequency 5695.5. Thank you. A uh, flash call, please. Air traffic Manston. Corporal Bick, will you get Flight Lieutenant Griffin, please? Yes, sir. Hello, Air Traffic Manston, Plymouth Rescue Controller. We have a Shackleton aircraft operating at flight level 50 between the Dutch coast and your station, call sign Playmate 36. He will call you on approach frequency. What are we looking for, Captain? Captain De Crew, there's a light aircraft done in the water somewhere here, and we are carrying out a visual search looking for a dinghy wreckage. These faithful Shackletons can linger in the air for a whole day. They can find a survivor and drop gear. They can't pick him up. The launch can, and far beyond the range of any helicopter. Well, there you go, okay, so would you like to take some of the press story for me? They keep on inundating me with calls. Yes, sir. Hello, operator. Could you pass all calls from the press through to me on this extension, please? At 50 feet above the waves, the Shackleton's visual search area is limited. But the range of its radio search, which should register on this dial, is 70 miles or so. A miniature radio transmitter, a Sarvi or Sarah, can be carried in a life jacket, sending a signal which can home an aircraft or launch right onto it. Contact made, position noted, and the Shackleton closes to release a Lind home dinghy. Captain De Crew, I am receiving Sarbi signals. Dummy one. The Shackleton is already in the search area. I'm afraid I cannot provide a helicopter for the press. The Manston helicopter might become involved, but it looks as though it might be too far out to sea to help. Don't make through six as far as I think, sir. Man in a dinghy, ten miles due east of Ramsgate. It's got no apparent injuries and they're dropping a lind home and remaining in the area. Excellent. Send that position as quickly as you can to the launch, will you? Yes, okay. Flash call at Manston 22 Squadron, please. Yep. OK, thanks very much. Sir? Yes? Yeah? RCC just been on again. Uh, the Shackleton's contact of the... Uh, this chap in the water and the launch is on its way. Uh, they want us to stand by, but we're not to go yet. Playmate 36, this is Alpha 75. I understand you've spotted the dinghy in a position of 290 degrees from me, eight miles off. We'll alter call for that position immediately. Coxon. Sir? Steer 290. 290, sir.
The helicopters are always ready, but the winchman does that extra check on his cable as a matter of routine. Wouldn't you? There he is, sir. Eleven o'clock. By right, both engines stop, sir. They made a take of a ball on the um, on the inward side. is too old to be kept waiting for any length of time. We must call in the chopper. Would you make sure the after deck is cleared for receiving the chopper? Right, sir. I'll get that done immediately. Hey, doctors. Yep. Yep. Okay. We're off now. survivor is in a bad way. He needs hospitalization quickly, much quicker than it would take the launch to get back to harbor. Pedro 91 has orders to lower the winchman to the moving launch and bring the survivor ashore. on the sling, take it straight up inside and away. Uh, OK, nothing to worry about at all. Keith's ready for us on the bows. Check's complete. Forward 50, 40, 30. Winching out, 20. Height's good, 15, 12, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Steady, steady, right one, steady, steady, hooks on the deck, steady, stretches on the hook, keeps on the hook, steady, steady, pins in, steady, steady, taking in the slack. Up gently, up gently, stretches off, keeps off, clear of the deck, clear to move left, clear of the boat, clear forward and down, seven off, fifteen to go. Descent's good. Ten for the cabin. No lower. That 
doorway, turning the stretcher around. Coming inside, winching complete. The helicopters, first and foremost, are here to aid the crews of ditched aircraft. But no authenticated call goes unanswered. There are 600 such calls each year around the British coast. The yellow whirlwinds are as familiar a part of a day at the seaside as ice cream and sandcastles. Perhaps their jet engines may disturb some as they try to doze in a deck chair. But to others, the less fortunate, the noise of an approaching helicopter will be remembered as the most welcome sound in the world. <laughs> 